read this title, I immediately thought they were talking about me. The man responsible for all Genshin Impact problems and drama. So there is another thing going around where it's like Hoyoverse as a whole just hates Genshin Impact. The thing is, there's 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 separate teams, right? There's a Hoyoverse team that's responsible for Honkai Impact Third. There's a Hoyoverse team who's responsible for Genshin Impact, and there's a Hoyoverse team who's responsible for uh, Honkai Star. Now the big thing is is that the people who just make the game, like they make the designs. Right? They make the designs, they make the characters, you know, they design the worlds, blah, 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 blah. They, they didn't do anything wrong. Generally, there are like producers or directors who are in charge of a lot of things because things can't move without them. And unfortunately, if you have a taskmaster and he says shovel coal into this train for the next 40 years of your life, well, you can't really say no. You can't really fix the game without the people, the, the big bosses ahead, uh, giving you the okay. So I've heard some rumors that there's a guy who has a very bad track record of actually taking care of uh, Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact Third before he was removed. And apparently the same guy is still working on Genshin Impact, but we'll see. We've all heard many times that Honkai Star Rail Dev Team treats its players better than the Genshin yep. Dev Team. And for the longest time, I just thought it was because Genshin's popularity allows them to be more stingy with the rewards and quality of life of the game. Some no, that's just a horrible Take. Oh, well, it's popular, so it's allowed to be horrible. That's just legit, just not how it works at all. Like, when the games are more popular, they have a more freedom to actually give the players more because they make more money. But I mean this from day one to day now, the rewards have barely changed 10%. Other than maybe instead of getting chickens every day, maybe we get a couple primos. Maybe we get five primos instead of a chicken leg. I'll be real. I'd rather just the chicken leg is five primos is insulting. What, you're going to give me, what is that, one, uh, five times... That's like one sixteenth of a poll. It's like, okay, well, I don't even want that shit, bro. Not even. That's one thirtieth of a poll. No, not even. Oh my god, that's one thirty sixth of a poll. My bad, bro. My my, my brain's turned off. One thirty sixth. Wait, is it one eighty or is it one sixty? It's thirty two. You're right. I thought it was one sixty. Regardless, bro. My my brain is so far far beyond staying relevant with how many gems I need to pull on that game because it just it makes me want to it makes me want to come whenever I think about it. Sometimes you're just way too big to fail. But yeah. with the recent developments, a lot more eyes are looking into the dev teams of both Genshin and Hoyoverse titles. And what we found is something all of us can guess. The man in charge of the dev team of Genshin is not the same man in charge of both Honkai games. Or would you believe me if I said that the same man in charge of Genshin right now was also in charge of Honkai Impact 3rd? I heard that. I heard the rumors of that. That the same guy was in charge of Honkai Impact Third and Honkai Star Rail, and then the guy got removed from Honkai Impact Third. That is what I heard. And that Honkai Impact Third was in the same situation as Genshin before. Here's a quick rundown of the history of the man known as Kai Hao Yu. Yep. This piece of shit is the reason why we never had the same good treatment that the other Honkai games currently have. As we know, Genshin Impact is what propulsed Hoyoverse into mainstream fame. But before that, their first successful title was Honkai Impact 3rd. Now, during its first years, it was yep. ran by this man, Kai Hao Yu. And during those days, the Honkai Impact 3rd community had almost the same issues we are currently facing in Genshin Impact. More specifically, lack of rewards and dev team lack of communication. Yep. And no changes after we give feedback. Sounds familiar? Now, yes. after Genshin Impact's launch, he was moved to the Genshin Impact dev team and was replaced by the one and only, the man of the hour, David Young. This man not only brought back Honkai Impact 3rd by giving the equivalent of Archons in that game for free, but also is the man responsible for all the praise Honkai Star Wars is getting nowadays. Now, here's what I don't get, is that clearly it's such a brainless business direction to treat your players with respect and then they too will treat you with respect and love giving players one free five star is never going to kill your game or kill your profits it's actually going to do the exact opposite and, I'm, and i know we're going to see that during the next uh uh lucrative banner uh how, how much every banner made from ruan may and dr ratio because it re-incentivizes players to play your game and enjoy it and have longer uh, concurrent hours and concurrent players of people playing your game. And the longer that your players are in the game, the more likely they are to spend on your game. If your players aren't playing the game ever, right, well, then there's no way to access the top-up shop, okay? If your players aren't playing the 
game, then there's no way to show your sponsors and investors that you have tons of concurrent players, which means there will be less people to give you more money. But there is no way anybody is going to hear, if you just log on the game, you get a free five-star, there's no way that they're not just going to go collect it. And at that point, there's a very high chance that they want to use it. And at that point, there might be a chance that they get stuck on something. And at that point, there might be a point where they might start grinding. And when they start grinding, there's a chance that the game becomes a daily habit again. And it's just insane how much Genshin doesn't get that. Because it's really not complicated. But I swear to God, it's like you put the square block in the square hole. It's not that hard. Giving all of us Hoyoverse players the feel that we are in the best hands playing Honkai titles and not the Genshin Impact title. That is sad. I don't know about you, but for me personally, I don't want to be responsible for a man losing his job, costing him his livelihood. Something at the cost of something like someone's livelihood isn't really worth it. However, it... Oh, uh, yeah, it is. I got no problem with that. I'll be real, bro. If I saw a person at McDonald's uh, jerking off in a corner and uh, shitting on his co-workers, I'm going to report that shit to the manager, okay? Uh, some people, and I'm not saying this is the case for him, I don't mind costing people their livelihoods when they're not doing their job correctly. Okay, when I go to Target, I had this happen the other day, I went to Target. Go to Target, I go over to the first person in front of the head of the store, and I say, do you sell USBs? She looks at me and says, no. And I say, are you sure? And she says, yeah. And I say, Pull up inventory on your phone and search up USB. And she searches it up and she says, oh, yeah, we do. And I say, okay, what size? She says, what do you mean what size? Or just a wall outlet. And I'm like, no, I mean like a USB storage device. And then she puts her phone away and says, no, we don't have that. And I say, okay, normal person would leave the store, but I'm pessimistic as f I go all the way back to the electric section. I say, to the guy who's over there, do you have USB storage devices? He says, no, I don't think so. Try one of our other locations. And I say, are you sure? And he said, yeah, I just checked. We've never sold them. And I said, okay. I go literally eight feet down. By the way, I have witnesses for this. My two roommates are witnesses. I walk eight feet down. There's like 30 of them. 12 gigs, 16 gigs. There was even a one terabyte one. I buy a 64 gig. I look him in the eye. I go, shaking the little thing at him. Walk to the front. Look at the lady. I go to self-checkout just to make it personally. I scan that shit. Myself. I'm making direct eye contact the whole time. And then I walk out the store. Okay, there are some people where if you're not doing your job, I'm sorry, you shouldn't have your job. Genuinely. Like, that's like that's like if, a, if an issue in Honkai Star Rail or Genshin or Gacha in general happened and I didn't milk the out of it, well, then I should lose my job. It's, it's my job to bring awareness of the issues and the triumphs in this community. That It is my job. It is. That's like if I miss a day of streaming. You know what the last day I missed a day of streaming was? Let's go ahead and pull this shit up. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and take a moment to recognize how much of a real-ass mother I am in this fake-ass world. You know how many days I've taken off this week? Just go ahead and look. Let's peep this shit. I have missed zero days. Because I don't miss days. And the only days that I do miss days are because I'm on somebody else's stream. I don't miss that shit. Where the else would I be? My friends are here at this stream. Why would I want to go anywhere else? Look at this shit. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. I took one day off to do a competition with Emeru, 14, and that was on stream. I don't take days off because I'm not a pussy because I got a job to do. If somebody isn't doing their job, if somebody is doing a poor performance at their job, then you should get somebody else to do their job. That's just my opinion. Now, I'm not saying that's the case for this guy, but the mentality of I don't want to take somebody's livelihood, bro, if somebody's doing their job poorly, they deserve to get fired. High time this man, Kai Hao Yu, has some pressure applied on him, so he makes the changes that his peer, David Young, is already doing. If there's one thing school has taught us, is that copying the smart kids' homework is the best way yep. to do your homework. Yeah, or what I did was is that I would make a chick think that I was in love with them, and then they would do my work for me for free. And that worked really well. So you befriend the smart girl, and then you date them, and then you have them do your homework, and you say, oh, I love you so much, right? That's the good shit. It's called emotional manipulation. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> if it means anything, guys, you shouldn't feel bad for her. Her parents were part of the cartel. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Or at least her father. It's fine. It is a bit of a relief that it's not a... CEO big F you to us Genshin fans 
because they're just way too popular. But instead, this situation is just the yeah. result of a man's shitty tactics. This gives me hope that the changes we need and deserve are very likely and more possible than ever before. And yes, I know what every passionate player is saying right now. Don't. I personally already quit Genshin. I'll be making my video going over all the major points as soon as possible. The worst thing is, is that Genshin players are going to get a free 10 pull, maybe even a 5 pull, and go, oh, everything's fixed, guys. We did it. We did it, guys. We fixed it. No, it's not enough. It's legit just not. They're going to say, oh, we did it. No, you didn't. You legitimately did it. Oh, it was better than nothing. Oh, my God, bro. It's going to be so cringe. Stay tuned for that, but I'm really hoping that I don't have to. I would love nothing more than to trash that script, open my favorite game, stream it for all you wonderful people, and for all of us to have a wonderful time. I will see you on the next one. Yeah. So I don't necessarily buy in to the it's this guy's fault and it's only his fault. I don't really believe that shit. Uh, I would love to know more proof of that rather than, well, just one guy on the internet said it, so it must be true. But it is a very interesting narrative. Clearly, he is a big difference in both teams. And for the other team, they do get tons of shit and tons of rewards. Is there any merit to it? I'm not sure, but I'd love to know what y'all think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and go check out the original video. Appreciate y'all. Peace.